Hello everyone, hope you are having a wonderful day. Uh, we understand that due to these unfortunate times, you can't visit the campus, so we thought of bringing the campus to you. My name is Khaled Al Khalifa, I'll be your tour guide for the day. We have just arrived at the Polytechnic's gate, so let's go in and begin our tour. So we just arrived on campus. We are currently at the student uh, parking lot. First thing you're gonna see is the uh, security checkpoint. Make sure you got your ID cards on you to avoid any delays getting into campus. So let's go in. Right over here, we got a couple of our engineering labs. The one to my left is building 30 where lots of students have worked on vehicles and putting them together. And right opposite to that is another engineering workshop with lots of equipment for you guys to enjoy. Let's keep going. Keep an eye out on that building. It's one of the most interesting buildings at the campus. We'll check it out at the end of our tour. Let's keep moving. So we have just arrived in building 36. This building has classrooms, uh, computer labs, and you can find the visual design tutors as well. And we have a couple of our event halls right here. Um, let's check one of them out. Okay, so this is one of our newer ones uh, where we host um, guest speakers and we organize uh, workshops trainings, lots of activities. So keep an eye out on the announcements for those. Um, let's keep moving. So guys, one more thing to note, uh, your ID card can get programmable. Um, it will grant you access to multiple areas around campus. So this is one of them. All right, so we have just reached our ICT Innovation Lab. This uh, space is used by our final year ICT students to work on their projects. Um, it also offers them the resources uh, necessary to complete uh, whatever it is that they are working on. Um, let's check out what's upstairs. All right, so we have arrived into one of our computer labs. Uh, this one specifically for Visual design, as you can see, it is equipped with IMAX because we know you love designing with IMAX. Uh, so this is what our classrooms usually look like. Let's move on to the next location. We have just arrived at building 11. In this building, you can find more classrooms and our management team is actually uh, stationed here and uh, you can find as well the finance team. All right, so we have just arrived in building 20. In this building, you can find uh, uh, engineering staff on the ground floor and you can find the business uh, tutors on the top floor. Um, let's move on to the next building. We are inside building 8. Here you can find more classrooms. You can find the logistics tutors uh, upstairs as well. Um, you will also find the registry team. Um, who you'll be working with a lot during your academic journey. Uh, let's move on and check out what else is on campus. All right, so over here we got building 26. It's an office building. Uh, mostly you will find ICT tutors as well as web media. Um, we're gonna go over here. Let's check out what's next to it. Right over here, you can find the Career and Employment Center. The team over here will help you find summer jobs, internships. Um, they can help you with CV writing and lots, lots more services. So be sure to get in touch with them if you require any support. 
Let's move on. Uh, just a fun fact, did you know that 83% on average our graduates get employed within the first six months? Keep that number in mind, you might need it sometime soon. Let's move on. Right over here, you can find behind me the ICT services. They can assist you with any sort of technical issues from Wi-Fi to maybe issues with your computer or maybe uh, login issues. So be sure to get in touch with them and they will definitely sort your issue out. Right next to it, you will find uh, Building 10. It has more classrooms, uh, mostly dedicated to engineering students. Let's keep going. Right behind me, you can find Building 5. It's an interesting building because it's one of the oldest on campus. At some point, our management team were right here. Uh, currently, it has uh, computer labs and it has staff offices, one of which is mine, so make sure you pass by and say hello when you're back. All right, welcome to the Students' Activities Hall. This is where you can chill, relax, and let off some steam. Maybe you have some time between classes and you want to relax. This is the place for you. As you can see, there are uh, some pool tables, uh, table tennis tables, and uh, much, much more for you to enjoy. Let's see what's next door. All right, so right over here is Bahrain Polytechnic Student Council offices. This is the student body that represents you, and they will pass your voice to the management because they are the link between you and our management. If you have any sort of issues, require any clarification, they are your first line uh, to support you. So be sure to get in touch with them if you need any help. All right, so we have just arrived at the Huawei ICT Center. This has been launched by His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa during our 10th year anniversary. Um, right here, uh, they deliver specialized courses in databases and networking and it is the only one of its kind uh, across Bahrain in higher education institutions. So if I were you, I would make uh, great use of this place. Hopefully, uh, Huawei professional certifications as well will be delivered through the center. So keep an eye out. Uh, there will be a great addition to your CV. Let's keep moving and see what's around the corner. All right, so we have just arrived at building 19. You will be spending a lot of your time uh, in this building and let's go in to find out why. All right, so we're inside building 19. As you can see behind me is the academic uh, skill center. Here you can book one-on-one uh, -on -one sessions with tutors who will support you with your English, with your report writing, um, citations, and so on. Um, keyword is support, they will not do your homework for you. Um, let's go upstairs and see what's hiding in there. All right, so we have just arrived at His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak's uh, library. Uh, you might be wondering why it's called that. We dedicated the library to His Highness because of his support throughout the years. Um, as you can see around me, it has multiple areas. I'm gonna try to go through them real quick. I'll start with this one over here. This is one of the uh, quiet areas where you can work with your team on your assignments or projects or whatever it is that you're working on. Um, and on the other side, we can find uh, lots of computers, maybe for all of you web media students that would like to uh, utilize the computers to do final touches to your projects and so on. Um, let's see what's on the other side. All right, so right over here, you can find the station for our pass leaders. Who are pass leaders? Pass leaders is a uh, peer assist program where senior students support uh, junior students throughout their academic experience. So be sure to reach them out if you need any support. And uh, right over here, you can find the uh, learning support. We have a specialist at the Polytechnic that can cater for any of your uh, 
learning needs. So if you have any learning difficulties or special uh, learning needs, uh, be sure to reach out and we'll be more than happy to accommodate that need for you. Just one more thing to note, I forgot to mention, we got some refreshments right over here so you don't need to move around to get some coffee in case you need it. Well, we know you will. Right over here, we have the uh, self-serve check out and check in system. Um, so this will make your uh, book borrowing a lot more easier and uh, save you lots of time. Um, let's check out what's on the other side. All right, so we have just arrived at the food court. As you can see, it is very spacious. Uh, this food court offers a variety of food choices. Uh, including uh, refreshments and drinks. It's a perfect place to spend uh, free time that you may have between classes. There is another interesting spot on this floor, so let's go and check it out. All right, so right over here, you can see uh, the hallway is filled with offices, which we call study rooms. Uh, these offer you uh, quiet spaces for you to work on with your team. It also has a monitor for you to project your work, you can see them right over here. Um, also, these can be accessed using your ID cards. Let's see if I can show you inside. Well, I don't have access, but you guys do. Um, the good news is you can book these online, so make sure you do that. Let's move on and see what's on the first floor. while we're here I want to talk about two things one is on this floor you can find the student affairs department um, who can support you if you have any sort of concern or maybe you can find or maybe when you find yourself unsure who to contact they'll be more than happy to support you as well and uh, I also want to show you one of our classrooms that way you can have an idea of what uh, you can expect when you're back on campus so let's check it out All right, so right over here, um, you can see that our classrooms are set up in a way uh, to encourage group work. Um, you'll see lots, lots, lots of our classrooms are set up this way. Uh, this is just how the Polytechnic um, develops uh, teamwork and other skills that support you in your future. All right, so you have consumed a couple of books, you studied, you worked on your project with your friends, uh, you must be stressed uh, and you wanna let off some steam. So where do you go? No, not the movies. We're gonna go hit the gym. Let's go and check it out. Right, so we have just arrived at the health and wellness center. As you can see behind me, we have an indoor court where you can play various sports like basketball, football, and volleyball. Um, if you would like to join any of our teams, be sure to contact the health and wellness center. So guys, uh, one more thing to note, we have a healthcare unit at the Polytechnic. So if you need any medical assistance or you have found someone that's injured and you would like to report it, please be sure to contact the healthcare unit. All right, so we have just arrived at the Polytechnic's main gym. This is a mixed gym. Uh, don't let the small size fool you. It has lots of equipment, high quality equipment, from dumbbells to weights, as well as cardio, for those who would prefer that. Um, we also have a ladies gym, for the ladies who would prefer to work out uh, alone. Uh, you guys have special prices, so make sure to pass by the reception desk. They'll be more than happy to help you or you can book online. Let's move on and see what else is on campus. All right, so we have just arrived at the security office. Uh, these guys can help you with any security related issues, uh, anything related to your ID cards, any lost and found and the such. They are also the car park police, so make sure you park properly. All right, let's move on to the final building. Oh, 
we have finally arrived at our final destination, the one that we saw earlier in the video. This is called Bahrain Hall, also known as Building 12. Before going in, I just want to show you uh, what's on the outside. As you can see here, we have the names of every single graduate that graduated from the Polytechnic. Uh, hopefully, when you guys come through the Polytechnic, we will have your names right over there as well. So let's go check out the inside. So this is uh, the inside of building 12. As you can see, it is very spacious. It can take up to uh, 700 people, of course, depending on the setup. It's uh, 1,500 square uh, meters. We have hosted lots and lots and lots of events, such as conferences, forums, exhibitions, uh, competitions and the such. Uh, be sure to keep an eye out on our social media. Please get social with us and follow and uh, you won't miss any of those. All right guys, this concludes our tour. Um, I suggest that you take the time to look around the campus when, you're, when you guys are back. Uh, for now, please take care, be safe, and I wish you all the best. See you.